position as you hit these shots so that you have a good attack angle and you get the ball first on the strike. This is what we're feeling like we're staying leaning forward, feeling like we're going down the hill. What is up, y'all? So today we're gonna to talk about some short game stuff on Trap Man, but here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna break it down into multiple videos for you guys so you have multiple things we can cover. Today we're just gonna start with some very simple basics, a simple setup thing, simple thought to kind of go into how you should hit these shots. And then we're gonna have other videos talking about different elements of the short game that you can utilize into your pocket. So this video today, we're gonna to get the sensation of what it's like and how to hit like a shot that feels more downhill and how that's beneficial in your short game. But if you wanna learn more about how we're gonna do that, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below, let me know you're here. And we'll get into this video so that way you guys can learn a little bit of how you can start getting the short game basics together. And then as we evolve this series in the short game, be on the lookout so you gotta ring that bell so you know what's coming next. Let's get into this video. All right guys, so today we're talking short game. Some simple fundamental setup stuff that we can utilize to hit soft little pitch shots like you're gonna have to see me do right here. So, a couple things to keep in mind, right? The overall riding thing you wanna feel like when you're hitting any kind of less than full swing shot, is that it's a good basis to feel like you're swinging downhill, right? So a lot of, I tell a lot of my players is you want to feel like you have a downhillish kind of sensation as you hit these shots so that you have a good attack angle and you get the ball first on the strike. I see a lot of golfers kind of reverse feel this way and play teeter-totter, and then they start to hit up on it, create some havoc with the ball flight, contact, all that stuff, right? So first things first, remember you're always trying to swing downhill. So how can we set up to do that in an effective manner, okay? The first thing we're trying to do is one, we typically narrow the stance, that's an obvious one, right? But what you can do is we don't wanna twist our body left a lot. That's gonna make it kinda of hard to get rid of some shaft lean and also kinda of hard to control the face as, as well as we could. So we usually try and keep our body pretty square to dress to our target. We can then drop back our lead foot and flare the toe out some, right? So I'm not twisting my feet to the left, I'm just simply getting squared up first, moving my left foot back and open, and that allows me to rotate into my lead side a little bit better in the downswing. Sounds good? So the other thing I want you guys to remember is when we talk about short game versus power, those, uh, kinetic sequences and kinematic sequences, they start to change. We're not trying to compress the ball because we're not trying to squeeze it when we're hitting a short game shot. We're actually trying to do the opposite. We're actually trying to have the ball come off the face slower than the club has traveled. And that's how we hit pretty good pitch shots. So when we're doing that, we don't want to necessarily have all the shaffling in the world. We actually kind of want to hit it with a little bit more of the shaft in line with the hands, not hands in front, because that's gonna get the ball to jump off the face really fast. And when that ball rockets off the face, that's when the ball goes screaming across the green. We don't want that, right? So we want to have that nice little squeeze and compression. So let's hit a shot here real quick. And I'll talk to you about what my little force belt here is gonna do for us to get that downhill sensation we talked about earlier and go from there, right? So we get set up, we're pretty square to the target. Again, a little principle is we want to feel that club face sit just a little more open, right? And, I'll, and we don't have to worry about that being pointed to the, to the right. We can do things in our setup to fix that, right? So if we open the face, we can lower our hands a little bit and that points the face back at our target because we're using the loft to aim the face, not the grooves. So now, lead foot open, heavy on my left, feel that downhill sensation. I got a little 15 yard chip. Not bad out of the gate. So, as far as that sensation goes, is we're feeling like we're staying leaning forward, feeling like we're going down the hill. Now, what we can do with like a little force pedal is we can, or the tennis ball, I use force pedals instead because they have a little better structure. So, what we can do is we don't want to squeeze that. Actually, what you want you to try and do is put it so that your foot is kind of leaned in. And what we're gonna do, I try and do is keep it really, really light. I see a lot of people trying to do this drill 
The problem is they'll just sit back on that toe and not really get any better. So you want to feel like that's really light. The foot's kind of like, knee's kind of jerked in, so it's kind of forcing us to stay a little more left. And let's see what happens if we do that again. And so you can see I, it forces me to stay on my lead foot as long as I'm trying to keep this light and I don't squeeze that force pedal. So again, if I get set up here, light on this foot, heavy on this foot, shoulders leaning left, and hit nice, soft, little dinky little chip shots. Now, what we want to try and feel like, they feel that downhill sensation, and the other reason why I like the pedal here, is that we want to feel that lead shoulder stay lower in our posture. So we have that lead shoulder tilting down, that's gonna allow us to swing down the hill a little bit better, right? So we get set up, and what you can do is you can hold the club in front of you, tilt your spine, get set up, and now you see my shoulders are tilted a little bit more at the target than up. I get that nice little downward strike, and we get that good crisp contact, right? So that's kind of what we're looking for. So like that last shot, I caught a little too clean, so the ball jumped off the face. When we look at the track man numbers, the spin rate was really low and the smash factor was really high, right? At 1.1, we don't really want that. So what I wanna do here is I'm not gonna try and have as much shaft lean and impact, open the face a touch more and see if I can deliver it with a little bit more loft on the face. That one sat down a lot softer. So let's see what track man puts up for numbers there. Oh, I didn't put any up, but it said the spin rate was about the same, but I bet you the conversion was a little bit different. Let's see if we can get one with some better track man numbers. So there we go, smash factor was one. So that means the club speed and the ball speed were almost the same, if not the same. And that's what we want to see when we hit these little short shots. And if we look at more of the flop, the high pitch, we'll see that actually change to like 0.5, or sorry, 0.85 to 0.9, where the ball is actually leaving slower than my club hit. And that's when you see like on video of the tour players like hitting bunker shots and the ball is still way back and the club head passes through. That's when you get yourself in a little bit of those uh, sticky situations where you're short side and that's gonna come real, real handy. So for today is this short little basic set up tip to short game stuff. Remember, we're trying to feel the downhill aspect. We're trying to get our feet to not be twisted open, but just drop that lead foot back, open that lead foot a little bit here, right? And get that sensation of swinging down the hill. You can use the pedal to tilt your foot in, keep that light and keep the lead foot heavy. Just make your short little pitch shot swing and watch this contact get a lot better. And now the next video that you'll see on this segment of short game I'm doing, we're gonna talk about wrist conditions and what you can do for different wrist types and how you can play it differently in your favor. And there's three different styles. So we'll talk about that in the next short game video that you'll see coming up on the channel. If you like what you saw, make sure you subscribe and leave a comment below, let me know what you think. And we'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.